Hi everyone, welcome back to our fast formula tutorial series at PISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and uh, in this series previously we had we looked at the basic structure for the fast formula and its syntax and we had seen our first demo fast formula how can we write it in our cloud instance and how can we get the log file for that one and that uh, uh, demo formula was uh, finding the gender for the person in the organization and returning the condition if the gender is female it is returning true and uh, false for uh, when the condition is uh, false so it is returning the other gender so in this session we are going to uh, see another example for the first formula that is defining the age for the person in the uh, working in the organization so we are going to use another database item for this one that is uh, basically used for defining the age for the person working in the organization so firstly we are going to uh, take uh, the look uh, for its uh, syntax or a structure then we are going to see how can we execute the same in our cloud instance so let me show you the syntax for this one first so here is my formula all things remains the same name its type date and uh, the purpose basically uh, previously uh, previous formula was for uh, finding the gender for the person working in the organization this is basically the uh, finding the person whose age is 50 or more working in the organization so from here the formula section begins so here this is basically the comment section then we have uh, our uh, default section that contains uh, the database item so this is basically the database item we are using in this formula for uh, finding the age for the person then we have the input values so under input value i have uh, uh, declare one variable that is going to um, and whatever value is there for this uh, particular database item per person age is going to assign to this uh, lh variable and condition i have given it over here is if lh is greater than 50 then it is going to return the log that condition is true person age is greater than 50 and it is returning the age for the person whatever age is and then if the condition is false then it is written uh, then it is the log has the log is going to return that condition is false person age is less than 50 and whatever the age for the person it is going to write it over here so let's see how can we execute the same in our instance so let me go there so here is my instance and the navigation i hope is clear to you all we just have to go to my client group show more and then we have to search for the fast formula option click on it and here we have to click on this create option or plus icon in order to create the new one so this is basically Second demo. First formula. And type is going to be compensation person selection. Here it is selected. And then we have to define the date over here that is 1st January 2000 if you want to provide description for this one you can provide it and it's native data group if you want to select you can select it but uh, this is not the mandatory field so I'm going to um, keep it blank click on continue 
here is my uh, formula editor window so i am just going to copy this formula and paste it over here now next step is i am going to save it then i have to click on this compile option for the purpose of its compilation click on ok then we have to refresh it so here the formula has got compiled successfully we can get the success message over here for this one now the next step is to attach it and generate the log for this one so we have to go to my client group go to compensation module and scroll down under this total compensation statement we have to click on generate statement options from here we have to select the statement definition i am going to select us total compensation statement next we have to select the statement period so I am going to select 1st January 2022 to 31st December 2022 and then when I click on this person selection formula drop down option my formula is available over here we can see second demo fast formula and then we have to click on the submit we get one warning for reviewing the parameter so I am going to click no I don't want to review it and then we get the confirmation that our process was submitted and its ID is this one 457 remember this ID 457 and then here under monitor processes we have to refresh it so that the status has turned into processing then click keep on refreshing until we get the success or completed message for the status so here our process has uh, successfully completed we can get the status over here when i click on this monitor processes and logs it will redirect me to the monitor processes page where i can generate my log file click on this refresh icon and the process id was 457 i have to uh, search for that id and here it is 457 generate total compensation statement this log file contains the basic details for uh, like uh, the date on which this uh, um, log file has been generated its status how many rows how many pages are there so now we are going to uh, download one more uh, log file that is generate total compensation statement sub processes when i click on it save it then it will uh, so here we can get uh, our log file so when the age is greater than uh, 50 so the condition is true and we are uh, getting the age for that person that is this one age is greater than 50 and this is basically the age and if the a condition is false then it is returning the age that age is less than 50 and here is the age for the person who is uh, less than 50 so this is basically how can we uh, write our uh, formulas using different database items and this is about this session that's all for this session and if you have any queries regarding this one you can um, reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or 
www.bispdrainings.com in our next session we are going to see how can we combine these two condition and how can we get our log file so we'll continue in our next session thank you everyone